Hey, what's going on guys? G1 Extron here, and today I thought we'd do a side-by-side -side comparison slash review of the reissued G1 Optimus Prime and the Hasbro Masterpiece MP10 Optimus Prime. Now, if you watch my Bakon haul video, you know that this is the very first time that I'm owning a G1 Optimus Prime. I know a lot of you are like, wait, you grew up back in G1, you know, and this is what, you know, your parents bought you and stuff like that, and you watch the cartoons. How can this be the first time? Uh, even being a collector here, I've been looking for the tall smokestacks, and you know I want perfect condition, and I actually kind of want one in box, but um, you know it doesn't have to be. But I couldn't pass this deal up. Uh, one of my subscribers came up to me at BotCon, and he actually sold this one to me for a really good price, and I was thinking, you know, why not pick it up for that price? Uh, I really need Optimus Prime in my collection. Still looking for the tall smokestack ones, but this one's really cool. Um, my parents, I went. I actually took my mom and my grandma to see the TF4 movie, and um, what was it, Sunday? And they were like, I remember, you know, we hunted all over for Optimus Prime. You wanted him, and remember how happy you were? I was like, you never got me Optimus Prime. You came home with this, okay? That's not Optimus Prime, and that's one of the reasons why I don't like Hot Rod. Uh, also, he's the uh, the Kingslayer. He's the reason why Optimus Prime's dead, but um, I digress. Let's let's get our focus back on here. Uh, yeah, so really happy to finally have this guy. And I do have the upgrade repro label set for the MP10 here. And, you know, some people think that you shouldn't put, I don't know, stickers on your masterpiece. Personally, I think they should come that way from the get-go. Um, but I, I really like the way that it's subtle with the cab and on the trailer. It makes it look like kind of the G1 trailer. Otherwise, it just looks gray and bear uh, but let's go ahead and detach these trailers and we'll take a look at these a little bit later on uh, we'll also take a look at the roller and the inside but let's just focus here on the cab and just kind of looking at here on the side again you got the rubber wheels you've got the steps on the g1 uh, also over here uh you had this I don't know how well it's showing up, but kind of this little weird design. It was that way on the G1 as well. Uh, there's these little uh, little bumps. It kind of feels like Braille. Uh, and they had that on the original as well. So it was really cool, very close. And some people, you know, you either have this or you don't have this or vice versa. So I wanted to show these, you know, two side by side. Uh, that's kind of the way I always do all my reviews if I can. Uh, if, you know, I have the figure in... Um, it's not too much to, to get them off the shelf and stuff like that. Uh, but again, you know, you see a couple of stickers here added, uh, not that big of a deal, but look how close it is. Obviously it's going to be a little bit different, uh, here on the headlights, but the windshield wipers all going the same way. Just everything. He is missing the horns up top that this guy does have, but I, I love this thing. I I'm so glad again, Michael, thank you for selling this to me. Um, we'll look at the back. The other side is exactly the same. And just, it's so accurate. I love it. And these have some of the stickers here that resemble that right there. But a uh, really nice job of capturing that and giving us, you know, that G1 look uh, and, you know, a masterpiece form. Uh, I've got the MP1, uh, but I've never taken him out of the box, so he's just going to stay there. Uh, let's go ahead and take this opportunity to... See what you got. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to grab his trailer again, but you know how long that thing is. But here he is, comparison with Rodimus. I mean, you're really not getting that much. And whenever you take, let's take Rodimus's trailer off as well. Give that thing to me. All right. Well, he can't even support himself. Uh, yeah. So there you go. He's just. This is such a horrible figure. Oh my goodness. All right, but let's go ahead and get this guy transformed. Uh, we're going to come down with these legs, uh, the feet right here. Back here, you're going to, let's go ahead and pull these out. And then you're gonna pull back with this section here. Uh, get them back, just come on. There we go. Uh, still very tight. I see a lot of people, they just bring it around. And I guess you could, but it helps to have, you know, that clearance. So, there's that section there. You can go ahead and open this up. i put his fist in there. And you can rotate his head. And put his fist in his hand. 
Now I'm not going to do MP10 on screen, but uh, I'm going to edit this out. A very nice looking figure. There's some nice die cast in there. Nice die cast up here. He's got quite a bit of articulation, to be honest, for a G1. Uh, you know, nothing here at the head, but his arms can go back and forth. That's part of transformation, but a lot of G1s, their articulation is part of the transformation. Otherwise, you wouldn't have any. Uh, he does rotate here at the shoulder, and he also rotates here, and this goes back and forth as well. So quite a bit of articulation there. Uh, wrist, I guess you could say they rotate. His knee does bend, even though if you did anything with it, it uh, I guess you could maybe do some kind of walking pose. Uh, and his feet as well. So really solid figure. And like someone told me on you know, one of my videos, they said, this is the definition of Transformers. I mean, this is like one of the most awesome, you know, best Transformers ever made is G1 Optimus Prime. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get some things transformed. We're going to take a look at the trailers. And, uh, oh, one more comparison I wanted to do here. Is, uh, bring in his nemesis as Megatron is just a little bit taller as he should be. Um, very nice comparison. Uh, I don't like to bring up size scale just because it, it's Transformers and uh, it's all messed up anyway. Uh, because whenever you look at you know uh, Rodimus and Galvatron and stuff like that, but this is pretty accurate. You know, whenever you're first coming out with your toys uh, toy line. Uh, has brought me and all they did was these are all different companies anyway uh, i believe they're both Di uh, diaclone and uh, microman um, gun robo so very very solid nice choices for hasbro to launch this transformer brand so uh give me a moment and we'll get everything transformed we'll take a look at some more stuff all right now take a look at the trailers on the right you have the g1 on the left you have the masterpiece we'll go ahead and set these rollers to the side we'll focus on them here in a bit but just first off, starting with these guys, uh, you can see that this has a radar. It can go back and forth. It can rotate around. This one over here uh, can also go back and forth. It also rotates around. There's also a knob back here that you can use to rotate it. Uh, then you have the claw, which this moves all the way around however you want. Also bends right here. It can open and close. The G1, not to be outdone, it can move back and forth, it can go up under, it can also bend right here, and the claw can close as well. So a lot of this stuff that, you know, if you've never had the G1, um, I knew a lot of this, even though this is my first time owning it, that they got all this play factor that whenever you got the MP10 and you're like, wow, man, there's so much to do with this. Well, I mean, they had that back, you know, in the 80s with G1, so that's how good of a toy, you know, this guy was. Uh, some of the other things that you'll notice is you have the little seats there, uh, which you also had on this guy. And we'll take Masterpiece uh, Spike. Let me see if we can put him in there. He doesn't fit all the way, but uh, he can set over to the side if you wanted to. Uh, another thing is you see the storage for the Energon Axe here. Well, you have the storage for the uh, his rifle uh, over there, which was really cool. Uh, now I'm going to move the masterpiece out of the way for a moment and we'll focus just on uh, the G1. One of the things that really sets this trailer set apart from um, I guess the masterpiece before the repper labels uh, upgrade is the stickers. I mean if it didn't have stickers and was just completely bare it wouldn't be as exciting it'd still be kinda cool because I do consider this a playset but then to you know see the little Stickers with the solar system here and uh, little specs, you know, for the little car right there, whoever that's supposed to be. Maybe it's Cliff Jumper or something. Uh, then there's like some radars and um, I have no idea what's going on over here. Maybe checkers or something like that. Uh, but really cool set here. Uh, just to show you the firing. And push it right here on the buttons. Yeah, so those fire off. And it came with four missiles. Wherever this went, I'll we'll just throw them out under there. Now let's take a look at the masterpiece uh, with its upgrade. So you can kind of see the similarities. Uh, whenever you look at this one, you see the go. They actually added the go there as well. Uh, they added a lot of the stickers here on the outside to kind of resemble that of the G1. Uh, you also got you know quite a bit of silver stickers here, and I really like that because I like nice nice chrominess. 
Uh, but you didn't get the stickers that you had here. Instead, you just had this kind of weird molded look, which I guess is fine. Because I'm not really sure what this was supposed to be in the first place, but it had a bunch of bright colors, so I think it looks cool. Um, one of the other things that you have with the G1 uh, that you did not have with the masterpiece, I'll go ahead and take his gas thing out, is this could launch. So you could put roller back there and push the button back here and bam, there you go. Uh, this also worked with a few other vehicles. And I wanted to use Sideswipe for both of them. So you can see that Sideswipe, he fits in there perfectly fine. Uh, let's see if we can, I haven't tried it yet with him. Yeah, there you go. So pretty cool. The only problem is you can't fit a car figure in there and the roller. Uh, so I guess roller is kind of out and about doing this thing if you want to put a, you know, one of the car vehicles in there. Uh, same thing with the masterpiece. You want to put him in there. Uh, roller is just going to be a little bit too long. So very accurate. I love that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the comparisons with the robot mode and the roller. And again, you have the G1 on the right and the Masterpiece on the left. As you can see, they're pretty much similar, except for the G1 has the gas pump and the hose and the lever. To where on the Masterpiece, they replaced that by just giving him the little red siren, which is totally fine with me. Uh, the back, they're pretty much exactly the same. All the stickers that you see here are part of the Rep Labels upgrade sticker sheet. Uh, one quick thing that I wanted to show off, because I forgot to, is... While well, it's fresh in everyone's memory, uh, we just looked at the trailers. Um, here's Rodimus' trailer, so yeah, that's what you ended up getting two years later. So a lot of awesomeness missing from here. There are two blast shields that go on the side, but that doesn't make this any bit, you know, better. So uh, moving on to Optimus. And kind of get these guys in a very similar pose. I thought it was backed up enough. There we go. This is awesome seeing these two guys side by side um to be honest with you this guy has just about as much articulation as the mp10 uh minus you know what's in his hands i really don't count that considering that he doesn't actually hold his gun you actually put it in that you know clip in his his uh palm and that really is the thing that holds it but can't rotate his head uh, then he cannot rotate at the hips and he can't rotate at the knee. Everything else the G1 can do, if you think about it. You know, you can rotate here. Uh, you can also swing back and forth. You can rotate at the wrist here. You can bend at the elbow. You can bend at the knee. You can go back with his leg if you wanted to. His, his foot, like we just showed with the articulation. So just genius figure. I love this. Um, you know, the die cast, you got some die cast here in the feet, which this guy kind of needs because he's a little bit larger. But great representation i love the job that they did um both of these guys if you don't have them i'm you know go get them uh you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't uh the g1 i think you can get the commemorative series new in box for around like 50 60 bucks you know a lot of places on the mp10 if you want to go with the year of the horse i i know that it goes on sale every once in a while actually today it just went on sale at toys r us for like 90 bucks so Depending on when this video goes up, you might try there, uh, but definitely hunt down some form of both of these characters because they are just fantastic. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoy these side-by-side -side comparisons, and I will talk to you guys later. Check out the website, www.cybercastnetwork.com. Peace.